Gabby Angelini, a young woman with special abilities, and her mother Mary, today's guests, have launched a coffee company and service business to employ people like Gabby with special abilities. More than 80% of them are unemployed. Working builds a sense of self-worth and independence. They'll also share their superpowers. I'm your host, Devin Thorpe. Welcome to the Superpowers for Good show. Hi, Mary. Hi, Gabby. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thanks for having us. We're, th we're thrilled to connect with you. Uh, Gabby, tell us a little bit about Gabby's Grounds. Um, um, at first, I wanted to do a restaurant. Then when me and my mom went to be in Bose, we checked the coffee shop there, and my mom said I cannot do a coffee a restaurant, but I could do a coffee shop. And I said, let's do it. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's fantastic. So, Mary, when you two started these conversations, what did you think? It must be kind of scary as a mother trying to uh, do something this challenging with your daughter. Well, you know, we uh, we didn't have any options, right? <laughs> Gabby kept applying for job and job and job, and they just kept saying, no, no, no. And her friends were experiencing the same thing, right? And even yes. um, she tried out for a um, behind the counter at a smoothie place at a, at a local gym. And what did they say? They said not. They assumed I cannot do it or go slow. Yeah, they said she'd be too slow. Yeah. I'm like, well, how do you know she'd be too slow? <laughs> you didn't even put her behind the counter and try her out. So yeah. we were done. We were done. <laughs> we're like, okay, we'll just start our own company. Yep. And she wanted the restaurant, and I said, oh, yeah, I can't do a restaurant. But we went to another coffee shop in Wilmington that um, just opened, and they were employing people with special abilities. And I said, well, let's do a coffee shop. I said, let's do it. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So uh, how long has it been now, Gabby? Has it been three years? Five years. Five years. Wow. Wow. And uh, do you feel like you're learning a lot along the way, oh, yeah. Gabby? So, what do you do different today than you did five years ago? Um, Can you well, think of anything, gonna, Mary? We were gonna. Um, we were trying to open up a coffee shop. That was the goal, and uh, so we raised a lot of money, and we were gonna do that. And then what happened? What hit? COVID hit. COVID hit. So in the middle of COVID, in the beginning of COVID, actually, last uh, it was in August of COVID. 2020, um, you know, we were working out of our garage, Jeez. packing, shipping orders from our garage. Uh, we we're in local grocery stores. So, you know, there's a lot of movement going on with the coffee business. And in the middle of all that, um, God called us into this warehouse, which is a co-warehouse and it's a month to month lease. So there was no really scary commitment because if we didn't make it one month, we'd be out the next month. So we've been here almost two years. And what we saw when we were in here were other people packaging, labeling, relabeling, shipping for other companies. We said, well, maybe that's what God wants us to do. So that's what we started doing. So the company that we were watching do it actually moved out into a bigger location. So then we started going around to the businesses in the warehouse and said, hey, we, we've got people we that can do it. We could do it. So how many people do we have doing it now? 40 employees. Wow. Right? So. So. So the coffee shop right now is not operating. You're we, doing the warehousing. We never had a coffee so. shop. We've always had a coffee business. We have an online business that we. Um, I see. Coffee and merchandise. We have a lot of merchandise, a lot of shirts and stuff. Um, yeah. And we do pop ups. We'll do hot Jeez. coffee. We do iced coffee. All right, what kind of iced coffee do we have? Caramel, vanilla, chocolate, um, tiramisu. And Snickers. And Snickers. So we'll do those pop ups, right? Jeez. We like doing those. <laughs> So where do you do those pop-ups? Is that something you do at events? Yeah, at events, yes. right? At school, events. a lot of schools have us come out. In conferences. Conferences. Gabby speaks at conferences. Yes, we do it there too. <laughs> oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. Gabby, Gabby, do you like speaking at conferences? I don't mind it. It's just fun. Yeah, that's good. That's good. What do you talk about? My business all the time. And about how people could, what, fulfill, fulfill their, their power. Their Power. dreams, right? Dreams. Yes, that's when it says on your board. It says Empowering the dreams. Empowering their dreams, right? Yes. It's been, what, two years since you've really <laughs> been to any conferences? It's true. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
these are crazy times, crazy times. But I'm I'm hoping we can uh, start talking <laughs> about the pandemic in past tense now. But yeah. uh, it's uh, it sounds like these are great opportunities. So, uh, Mary, tell us a little bit about the progress from your perspective. How do you see the, the business? What do you see as the big impact that you're having? Oh, we're having a huge impact. One, um, we also have a, a we also pack at a warehouse that's about thirty minutes from here in Creedmoor at Endure Productions, and she said we have increased. We have nineteen people working out there. She said we've increased their productions by sixty percent. So we have a Raleigh location. We have a Creedmoor location. So our goal is to have many locations. You know, because I have people every single day emailing me, coming here, calling me, asking if their child can work with us because. The eighty-two percent of people with special abilities don't have a job, mm. right? So yeah. we we just want to employ as many people as possible. That's our goal, mm. right? Wow. Love, you. Love you, and make new friends, and make new friends, and have fun like lunch breaks and dance breaks. Yeah, you guys have fun. <laughs> dance, dance breaks. Dance breaks. Gabby, you got to tell me about dance breaks. I don't have dance breaks. <laughs> How does that work? For me, I break dance, but it's really fun to do it with my friends because we can do music like any kind. They just crank up the music and yep. you just start dancing, even dancing in their chairs, right? <laughs> in their wheelchairs, in their chairs, oh, everything, yeah. right? Oh, that's um, great. So that's I great. Do. That's fantastic. It's fantastic. Well, um, Mary, one of the, as we think about employing uh, Gabby and her friends, it seems like there are some uh, special issues that we need to be thinking about. Uh, you know, for instance, we want to make sure that we're not exploiting people who don't want to work, right? How does how do you make sure that, that doesn't happen? Oh, well, you know, when they come in for an interview, we talk to them, you know, not just the parents, we talk to the person, we have them volunteer for about an hour to see, is this the kind of work you would like to do? Because, you know, we're in a warehouse, we're not in a coffee shop. We're, yeah. You know, it's dirty. It's sometimes it's <laughs> hot. We got fans blowing on us. It's not a posh environment. Um, so I want to sure they like it. And and they usually, they're just so thrilled to have an opportunity. And they work so hard to keep that opportunity because they know the alternative is just sitting at home and doing nothing, <laughs> which most of them have done through the whole pandemic, right? We do yeah. So, yeah. So we just need more clients, more work, and um, put more people we need more work and more companies to work with. That's right. We need more companies. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's an important theme. Let's let's take a minute, uh, Gabby. Tell us what you do for companies so that the companies who need your help can hire you to do it. Mm. So, like Murphy, what do you do? What do you do for Murphy's? It's like okay. So the pallet comes in, and what do you do? We do the candles. Well, you take the you take the box off the pallet. We take the box out of the pallet, then cut it open. Cut. Just open it with a box cutter and take it out. Then you do the candles, like put them in or out. Well, it depends what whichever they want us to do. Right? Sometimes we'll we'll take a big box of candles and put them put in the a, lid out. Then take the, the lid off. off, right? Or we put them in a new box if yeah. they want a different box. You have to put the box together and put the candle in and label the box and mm -hmm. tape the box and then repackage it, right? Yes. And then put it on a pallet. And then wrap the pallet. <laughs> right? There's lots of lots of stuff, right? Or mosquito oh, wow. sticks, or lots of stuff. Or what do we do for nice cannabis? Um, so we, what are you doing today for nice cannabis? Right now, I'm capping the vape pens after they fill them up. Right. So your employees are filling the vape pens, and yep. then you and your friends are capping them. And then what do we do next after that? Then after they put them in boxes, like we. Separate them with me and Justin, my friend. Separate the top and the bottom? Yes. Of the box, yep. Yes. Then we do um, filling, then capping, then way later, when we do have work, we do labels. Right, well, we put the pen in the box. In a box. Close the box. Close the box. And then label it. Then label it. And then put it in another box. Six pack, <laughs> right? And then put it in the big box. It's a lot of steps. It's a lot of steps. I love you. Yeah. I love you. But, uh, <laughs> It sounds like you've got great processes to make this work fun and easy for the people who work there so that uh, they can be productive yeah. and uh, a cost efficient resource for companies that want to have uh, yeah. pack 
packaging done and repackaging and uh, do you do some fulfillment work? We do. We do fulfillment. We do. Um, we, we have a couple companies in here that are um, that we do drop shipping for. We go in their cage and pack and ship out for them. Um, <laughs> companies come here and, and uh, you know, if and they, Furbis, chill. And pillows. Yeah, one of the pillows we stuff pillows for a <laughs> company called Furbish, and that they, they just featured it on the Today Show. So, oh, wow. hey, we stuff those pillows <laughs> until the Today Show. That's hey, great. Talking we about us, it. too. We stuff the They're hard to stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, stuff pillows. Yeah. And we stuff envelopes, right? We stuff like 50,000 <laughs> envelopes at election time. We'll do whatever thing, right? Yes. Yeah. Anything. So, so uh, Gabby, on my show, I like to talk about uh, leadership skills. I call them superpowers. Uh, the things that help people do more good in the world. Uh, Gabby, what is your superpower? Being a hugger. <laughs> I'm always now, my mom. She is a hugger. That is good. <laughs> that is good. So tell me, Gabby, does that help you with your work, with team building and <laughs> and uh, doing your job? Oh, yeah. My mom. Yeah. And you're a good leader. You're a good. You you turn the music on. You get people <laughs> happy and laughing and dancing. Yeah. And you're a good. Uh, you're inspirational. That's me. You are. <laughs> That's great. Mary, what's your superpower? Hi, I'm um I'm good at going around and telling people our story. You know, telling you know, <laughs> getting the word out there that people with special abilities are are Super worthy busy. and good workers and awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that is an important superpower. I, I, I can see how that would help you in your work. Uh, as you think about that, Mary, I wonder if you could give us some pointers on how we can become better storytellers. Ooh. Oh, Mom. No, I mean, you got to find your why, you know, why or how. Why, like, why, why do you want to do this? What's your passion, right? What, like, why? Why do you want to do this? Well, we do this so that we empower the people with special abilities so they can find fulfillment in everything they do. So find your why and then, you know, narrow that down and then talk to people about your why. I mean, that's really basically, you know, the main thing. Yeah, that's a great, great tip. Gabby, for you, um, how did you learn to be a great hugger? I just am. I just get that from my mom. Yeah, you, get oh, you didn't get it from me. You're, you're a better <laughs> hugger than me. I'm always hugging. You hug everybody. Everybody loves you. And my brothers, too. And your brothers. I don't see them that often, though. How many brothers do you have? Five brothers. You're the only Wow. Girl. Yes. Only girl. <laughs> you're tough. Oh, my oh, gosh. Well, I, I bet. I bet that uh, you have lots of people you get to hug every day, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You can keep practicing that superpower. Hmm. Well, uh, Gabby and Mary, I'm sure thrilled that we got this chance to talk. Uh, before we wrap up our conversation, though, I wonder if you two would take a minute and tell us how we can learn more. Gabby, tell huh? tell us how you think people can learn more about Gabby's Grounds and Gabby's Pals. Um, where can they go? They can go www.gabbysgrounds.com. One B. One B. Okay. Oh, that's good to know. We got <laughs> one B and Gabby. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Mary, is there anywhere else people can connect with you or if people wanted to get in touch with you? Is there a way that they could do that? Yeah, they can email me at Mary at Gabby's Grounds.com. Um, we're on Facebook, we're on Insta, we're on LinkedIn. Every social media. Every social media. They have websites. And our website, they can, they can reach out to any of those places and find us. Okay, fantastic. Well, I really thank you for taking the time to do this. It's such a joy to meet you both. And we wish you every success in the great work that you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for having us. All righty. Let's do some good. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to the Superpowers for Good show. Twice each week, we host changemakers who share their impact, insights, and superpowers don't miss another episode. Subscribe today at superpowersforgood.com. That's superpowers, number four, good.com. Be super empowered. Get your copy of the book, Superpowers for Good, as an ebook, audiobook, paperback, or hardcover edition. 
via your favorite online retailer. Interested in having me speak to your company, organization, or association? Visit DevonThorpe.com. Then, let's talk. Now, keep using your superpowers for good. Together, we can reverse climate change, improve global health, and eradicate poverty.